Hey guys, it's Luke, uh, P90X. Um, got a couple more questions on my diet, how I stuck to the nutrition guide. So what I'm going to do is just show you not everything I eat, but things I always keep stocked um, that made it really easy for me to follow the plan. So the first thing you need to always keep on hand is a lot of lean proteins, um, ones that are approved in the P90X nutrition guide. Um, what I have is you can get boneless, skinless chicken breasts. And one thing I want to do with this video is too is to show you that it's not really expensive to eat according to the guide and eat healthy. People always say like, oh, it's so expensive, I can't do it. This isn't expensive. So this is a bag, this is um, 48 ounces of chicken breast. You can get this at Walmart or Sam's Club. Um, if you can get it on sale, you can get it for five bucks. Normally it's about $6.50. And this will be enough, um, you know, 48 ounces of chicken so that's 12 servings according to the P90X nutrition guide. Um, this is 97.3 extra lean ground beef. So you can have hamburger. Um, I eat red meat as long as it's the extra lean. So a pound for three bucks. You know, you get about three, three servings out of this. Um, I get this at Walmart. This is tilapia fillets. This is a fish. I can also get sa individual salmon fillets. There's four individually wrapped fillets in here, and get them at Walmart. Four fillets for three bucks. Um, each of these has 100 calories, so it's a one serving of protein on the P90X guide, and it has 20 grams of protein. So I do these tilapia fillets and salmon fillets at the same price at Walmart. I'll also do shrimp um, just to mix it up with some seafood. I mean, 77 calories, one gram of fat, 17 grams of protein. This bag. Um, about 60 shrimp. I eat about 10 shrimp in a serving. Um, so, and it's like five or six bucks. So you get a, all these servings I'm showing you are about a dollar per protein serving. Now, as far as vegetables, you know, if people say it's hard to get the vegetables in. It's hard to eat all the fresh vegetables. Go to Walmart, buy one of these. This is 32 ounces or two pounds of mixed vegetables. Two dollars. All you do is you get a little measuring cup, one cup, scoop it out, pour it in, put it in a bowl, put it in the microwave for three minutes. You have your fresh vegetables. It's easy and it's cheap. Another thing I eat for a protein is these lean Jenny O turkey burgers. They're all natural um, and they're easy to make. They're frozen. Just take them out of the pack throw them in the oven. There's 12 patties in here and I think it's six dollars. As far as fruit, my main fruits I eat apples and bananas. Just bananas, apples. Bananas are cheap. You get like five bananas for like 50 cents. And then bread. For my for my carbs, I, I do like to just have bread. If you spend a little bit extra, this is like three dollars a loaf. This is 100% whole wheat fiber one. It tastes really good so you don't need to put mayonnaise or butter on it or anything. So I go for the fiber one, 100% whole wheat. So that's kind of my staples. Frozen, mixed vegetables, fish, lean ground beef, chicken breasts, turkey burgers, apples and bananas, and for my healthy fat, I use Skippy Natural Peanut Butter. Now one other thing I'm going to show you is how I actually follow the diet guide. And I'm going to zoom in on this to show you is I follow the portion approach. And I've made this grid. So for protein, these are all the protein servings I get to eat on level 2 eating. My dairies, my fruit, and my veggies. So what I'll do is as I eat something, say I eat a chicken breast, what I'll do is just, you know, right here I'll write CKN. That means I ate chicken. And throughout the day, as I eat things, I'll just mark it off on the grid and when everything is marked off, that means I'm done with my eating for the day. Now one way this is really handy is let's say you know, you're going out to, with friends and you can't follow the guide. Say you're going to Pizza Hut or something. Well, last time I went to Pizza Hut, I had two slices of pizza and a breadstick. And when I got home, I, I googled it and it said it was 700 calories. So what I did is my carb here is worth 200. So I just wrote pizza. Now I have 500 calories left I need to mark off. 
in order to equal the amount of pizza I ate. So let's just say I mark off my fat. So that's about 320, 420, 520, 620, 720. So that one piece of pizza, even though it has fat and carbs and calories, what you need to do is just find the calories and mark off enough boxes to equal those calories and then get back on the plan. That way, you're, even though you had a cheat meal, you're staying within your calorie limits and you're staying on the plan. You're still using your grid and you're just marking off the number of boxes that of number of calories you ate and it just keeps you on track while still having a cheat here and there. So that's it. That's, that's how I did the nutrition. That's how I followed the portion approach and these were the staple foods I ate. So good luck. Remember nutrition is very, very important if you want to get the abs. You know, abs start in the kitchen. So bring it guys.